Now the in order to minimize the mean square error, we have to select the CI and the CI is selected according to this rule here that is the this must be equal to the FP phi I DT divided by here T2 to T1 here the phi I square or we can say phi I and its complex conjugate D. Right? So if we apply this concept here then we will find that whatever is the error that will be minimum in this case right so what is the concept here that we have considered the functions phi i having how many functions here the n then this is approximated here the ft has been approximated in terms of the phi i and it is represented as the summation i equal to 1 to n ci phi i then whatever is the error uh, that has been squared here and it it has been covered for the range t1 to t2 this is known as the squared error and then we have considered the mean of this one it is mean square error then we have tried to minimize this error and this error will be minimum if ci is equal to this one here ci will be given by this function here now here we have assumed that phi i is which type of the function orthogonal. phi i is are the orthogonal function so what is the condition of the orthogonality if we consider the two functions suppose the phi i and suppose phi m and the phi n then how we can say these two functions are orthogonal <laughs> if the integration of the phi m and phi n dt right for the range of the p1 to p2 is equal to how much zero if m is equal to not equal to n and it is equal to some constant here say k if the m is equal to n right so according to this one we will consider whether the two functions given two functions are the set of the functions are orthogonal to each other or not now as we know the exponential functions are considered orthogonal to each other here or we just consider here the representation of any signal in terms of the exponential signal here. that any function can be represented with the help of a set of functions provided these functions are orthogonal to each other now if we consider a set of the functions of the exponential means we will represent the exponential Fourier series here Just try to find, find out that uh, condition of the orthogonality. 
means whether these functions are orthogonal to each other or not. If we are changing the value of the n, then these functions are orthogonal to each other or not. In order to check this one, we will consider, we will apply the condition of the orthogonality that is e to power j n omega naught t, right? And the second function e to power j n omega naught t divided by how much? Yes? As we have described the orthogonality condition, the first function multiplied by second function and this will be integrated over the range. Suppose this range is t1 to t2, t1 to t2, then if the first function is this is the ft, we will consider the complex conjugate of this one and if we consider the complex conjugate of this one, then this will be the negative one. Now if we calculate the value of this one, then this will be equal to how much? If the, yes? Here. And here the range t1 to t2, suppose that it is started from t0 and this is the t0 to say 2 pi by omega naught because the t is equal to how much? 2 pi by omega naught here. So if we consider this range here, then if m is not equal to n, in that case what will be the value of this one? 0. It will become 0. So here this will become 0 if m is not equal to m. And if we consider that m is equal to m, then what will be the value of this one? At that time, it will become this value only then, because the integration of the dt, that is the t, and t here the difference of these two will become 2 pi by omega naught. Right? If m is considered equal to n. So, what is the meaning of this one? We can say if we consider the exponential functions, then these functions may be considered as orthogonal to each other. Right? Now, if we are interested in order to represent any signal ft with the help of the orthogonal functions then how it will be represented it will be represented is equal to ft will become summation as in the previous case ci fi net so here we can say this is a new constant fn and e to power j n omega naught t and what will be the range here yes over which range Minus infinity, to minus infinity to plus infinity. That is, n is equal to minus infinity to the plus infinity here. This is the representation of the ft with the help of the orthogonal functions e to power j n omega naught t. Here we can say this is n multiplied by omega naught. And what is the omega naught? Fundamental frequency of the signal. And this Fn, that is the <coughs> coefficient, how the coefficient will be described here. Now apply the, uh, here the formula of the coefficient, that is the, here the Ft e to power 
at the same complex conjugate of the function. So here this will become a integration f t and complex conjugate that is e to power minus j n omega na t t t and the limit will be from t naught to set t naught plus 2 pi by omega naught right and divided by integration t naught to t naught plus 2 pi by omega naught and how much function itself is square that is e j n omega naught t and its complex conjugate that is minus j n omega naught t d right so what will be the value of this one here in the numerator this will become 1 integration of 1 that is the t here t is nothing but 2 pi by omega naught and 2 pi by omega naught is considered as capital T so this will become here the 1 by capital T integration T naught to this value T naught plus T F T e to power minus j n omega naught t d so if we consider any function f t and f t has to be represented with the help of the orthogonal functions and here we have considered the exponential functions as the orthogonal functions then f t will be represented by this expression here and this expression is known as the Fourier series representation and it is also known as the synthesis of the function. This is a synthesis equation here means ft has been represented in terms of the orthogonal functions here and then we have to find out the corresponding coefficient here means what will be the coefficient here f of the n and this is the coefficient equation or this is known as the analysis so if we consider the exponential set of the exponential functions here then these functions will be orthogonal to each other and any function f t that exists over a time t0 to t0 plus capital T, right, where the capital T is any certain time period, then it, this function Ft can be represented with the help of these functions in this manner, that is summation n is equal to minus infinity 2 plus infinity Fn e to power j n omega naught t, where the Fn will be described by this relation, that is 1 by t, t naught to t naught plus t f t e to power minus j n omega naught t dt. The first equation is said to be the synthesis and the second one is said to be the analysis. Now if we see this representation here that is in the parenthesis we have used the n omega naught in place of the omega naught we have written here the n omega naught. What is the meaning of this one? Omega naught is a fundamental frequency and for the nth harmonic this will be represented as the n omega naught. What is the meaning of this one? We can say that the function can be any function f t can be represented with the help of a function and its harmonic. Right? The, here the, if the n is equal to 1 then this, this will be the fundamental frequency uh, means function having the fundamental frequency and if we consider that n is equal to 2 then function will have the harmonic first harmonic of the uh, signal here so we can say the signal ft is represented with the help of the uh, harmonics of the function here right 
Now, we will come to the another representation here. That is the trigonometric representation. So here we have represented the Ft by this relation, but the Fn is nothing, but this is represented as 1 by t summation, sorry, integration t naught to t naught plus capital T, Ft and e to power minus j m omega naught t dt. Right? This is the exponential Fourier series representation. Now from this exponential Fourier series representation, we will derive the trigonometric Fourier series representation here. Now this Ft, that is this one here, this can also be represented as something like in this manner. That is n is equal to 0, this may be represented as the f naught plus. Now there are the two sections, one is negative portion and the second one is the positive one. So here we can say the one is the complex conjugate and another one is the function itself here if f n is said to be the real. Right? So this can be represented something like in this manner that is n equal to 1 to infinity f of the n e to power j m omega naught t right plus here the summation n is equal to 1 to infinity its complex conjugate e to power j n omega naught t with a negative sign because this one is also the complex conjugate here right any doubt the, here this is the exponential representation and the same can be broken in this form we have separated the at n is equal to 0 and then two sections having the negative portion and the positive this is the positive and this one is the negative one right now fn is real now this can be also represented something like in this manner that is the f naught plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity now it is a complex function here so this can be broken into two sections real and imaginary part so this can be written as the similarly this can also be broken into two part real and imaginary part here so this will be written as the real part of this function that is the f n e to power j n omega naught t plus the real part of the another function f n complex conjugate e to power minus j n omega naught t plus here the second portion that is the n is equal to 1 to infinity now the imaginary part of this one this will be the positive here but the imaginary part of this one will be negative so imaginary part of the function f n e to power j n omega naught t minus of the imaginary part of f n e to power minus j n omega naught t now as we know if we consider a function e to power jx plus e to power minus of the jx that is function and its complex conjugate are added and then 
and if it is divided by 2, then we will get cos cosine function of the x. Cos of x. As we can say, if we are adding the function, exponential function, and its complex conjugate, then we will get the twice of the cosine function here. Similarly, if we consider here the difference of these two functions, e to the power jx minus of e to the power minus jx, that is function and its complex conjugate divided by 2, then we will get here the sin 2 or twice of the j. Twice of the j. Right. So, here we will get the sinusoidal function. Or if we are just subtracting these two portions, that is the e to power jx minus e to power minus jx, then we will get the twice of the j sin x. Right? Now, if we exploit this, this rule here, then what will the representation? Here we can say that, that this portion will have the twice of the cosine and this portion will have the twice of the sinusoidal, j sin sinusoidal here. Right? So, now this can be represented in another form here that is this may be represented something like in this manner that is the f naught plus say this is a new constant here summation say a constant a n is associated here and cos of the n omega naught t right plus b n that is another coefficient related with this function here b n sin of the n omega naught t and what is the range of the n? 1 to infinity. Right? Now, we can represent the values of the f naught, a naught and b naught. For the simplicity, we can also write this one. f naught is a dc value here. This can be written as the a naught. Right? So, this may also be written as the a naught here. So, what is the a naught here? Now, again, go to the same representation, that is the calculation of the coefficient. Then, from the calculation of the coefficient, the denominator term will give the t value. So, we will get the 1 by t. And then, ft multiplied by dc value, that is 1 here. So, ft dt here. So, here, we can say, now, the, this representation may be something like in this manner that is a naught plus summation a n cos n omega naught t n is equal to 1 to infinity right plus summation b naught sin n omega naught T. Right? And here, what will be the value of the a naught? A naught will become 1 by t. And integration over the given range, that is the t2 or t naught to t naught plus capital T, as t function itself dt. Right? The another coefficient that is the a n here, it is associated with the twice of the cosine and twice has been included in the a n. So, this will become the 2 by t summation t naught to t naught plus capital T, yes, f t and multiplied by cos cos n omega naught t dt right 
and the next one is <coughs> dm that will become the 2 by t t naught 2 t naught plus t fp sin naught n omega naught t d so what is the conclusion of this discussion that we are interested for the purpose of the signal analysis so for the purpose of the signal analysis the signal has to be represented in with the help of the functions right that can be analyzed easily here so during the time of the convolution the signal xm has, has been represented with the help of the impulse functions now in the second representation that is signal has to be represented in terms of the frequency that is pitch amplitude or the intensity and duration here then in terms of the uh, representation of signal in terms of the frequency or in frequency domain we have considered the Fourier analysis and here we are discussing the Fourier series representation of the continuous time signal so we have discussed the two methods one is the exponential Fourier series according to the uh, definition here if the functions exponential functions are considered then these functions will be orthogonal to each other if the n is considered plus minus 1 or plus minus 2 and so on and function is e to power j n omega naught d then any function that is finite for a given duration is represented with the help of this exponential function by this representation that is summation f n e to power j n omega naught t and the range is from minus infinity to the plus infinity where the f n is the Fourier series coefficient and this can be calculated according to this representation here that is 1 by t t naught to t naught plus t that is for a given duration here ft e to power minus j n omega naught t dt here omega naught t is fundamental frequency and n omega naught is the nth harmonic of the signal here now the same can be represented in trigonometric series by this representation here that is the ft will become a naught plus summation a n cos n omega naught t plus summation b n sin omega naught t where the a naught will be represented by 1 by t t naught to t naught plus capital t f t d t and a n will be represented by this expression here and this expression has been derived from the basic concept right so that is calculation of the coefficient here now we have cons uh, we have uh, discussed the method of the representing any signal either in with the help of the exponential functions or the trigonometric functions now we will come to the point of any exercise suppose we cons and before uh, coming to the point of the exercise here 